Hi honeys, how's your day going so far? Mine is going fine. Okay, today I'm getting ready to make some quesadillas in my waffle maker. One of my honeys asked me to make some uh, quesadillas, so I'm going to do it a little differently. So it'll be beef quesadillas, and I'm using the 8515 ground beef. Got it on sale. I love to see these yellow tags. And I'll be, well, I'll show you. Stay tuned. Okay, I'm uh, going to cook up this ground beef. I start breaking it up with the spoon first until it cooks some. And then I use my, what you call it, finger. Meat breaker upper. So if I uh, put this in here now, the raw meat will just stick to the blades, and I don't want that. So I let it cook some, and then I break it up more. Meanwhile, I'm going to. Type up some onion. I don't have any bell pepper. I wish I did. I love bell pepper. Sometimes I put bell pepper strips on my uh, hamburger. Most people have onion strips. I like bell pepper strips. Of here. I like these big onions and I can use them for several meals. Okay, get off, get off. I'm going to give you up, uh, I'm going to buy some bell peppers and then I'm going to what you call it? Dehydrating. So I always have some on hand. This is my pulling chop. I got this one from Aldi, I believe. It was really, really cheap. I bought, uh, they do have them on Amazon. And I have seen them at stores like Ross. Use Worcester sauce in the meat. What's this here sauce? I'll be using the steak seasoning, ground black pepper, and of course my taco seasoning. I'm not using all three packs because I'm putting in the other stuff. I'm going to use that in the taco bell. Okay, let's get back over here. I got this from um, Family Dollar. They sell these on Amazon too. But they're not as cheap as this one. What I got. They do sell this exact one. This is the Betty Crocker Meat Chopper Upper. I think I paid two or three dollars. But they're much more if you buy them anywhere else.
And if you buy one from somewhere, I always get one with a uh, kind of a thick handle. Some of them got real skinny handle. And you don't want it to break. I'm not going to use all this meat for my waffle quesadillas. I'm planning another meal for the rest of the meat. Okay, I'll be back. Oh, let me show you what cheese I'm using. I'm using this Mexican cheese. I had stopped buying the uh, pre-shredded cheeses for a while. Because is wood pup in it but I started using it again and I'm gonna use some permalone since I got it since it's here and what else am I using taco sauce and what else show try the seasoning and of course the uh, big old tortilla what you call these things Flour tortillas, they're large, so I guess they're called burritos. I don't know. Get everything ready. You know what, I'm going to plug in my electric kettle. Because you always have to put water in your ground beef when you use taco mix. I want it to already be hot. Okay. My meat has been cooked, broken up, and drained. Now I'm going to put the seasoning in. Like pepper. Steak seasoning. What's this here sauce? It's almost gone. Uh oh, I just broke it. One of my daughters had broke it one time. She got a screwdriver and fixed it. So now I just broke it. And I don't want to take it apart to fix it. I'm all in front of the camera. I'm so sorry, y'all. Yes, my hands are clean. I washed them last week sometime. Be very careful of this blade because it's extra sharp. I got a couple more uh, of these pulling chops that I sell on Poshmark. So I'm going to get one out and use it. I'm going to be fixing that thing. Okay. Now I'm going to pour this hot water. See my uh, electric kettle, yeah. Water. 
love it. I'll put the link to the electric kettle in my description box also. I need more water. And let this cook down. Okay, that's enough. Okay, the meat is done. I'm just gonna let it simmer so I can dry out some. In the meanwhile, I'm gonna bring you over to the other side of the kitchen. I got a little bitty kitchen, y'all. Big enough for me. Here's my waffle maker. It's the Dash waffle maker. It's the uh, no mess waffle maker. So I'm going to spray it and let it preheat. I'm going to use some of this. I can't believe it's not butter. Fake butter spray. green light comes on that means ready to put the food in here and I'll be back okay this green light just clicked on I don't know if you can see it or not and the only part of this you can touch is the the handle because everything else is hot so I'm put this big old what you call it on here Almost didn't fit. Some meat on here in the center. That's going to be a healthy, what you call it? Cheese. This is the, uh, what you call it? Provolone. I'm going to put some of this Something click this on top. I'm going to force it down because I don't want to tear it up. So the red light is back on. So I'm going to check it when I think it ought to be ready. Usually like can smell when something is ready. I'm smelling this and it's sizzling a lot. Oh, and the green light just came on. I knew it was about time for it to be ready. Okay. I need spatula for this. It's a mess wet. I'm 
what the other side looks like. Let's see. Get the other side. Brown. Oh yeah. Brown. I'm gonna get all my meat and unplug it. Because uh, it'll keep cooking. Okay. There's no on and off switch on this. It's just plug it in and unplug it. I'll get that meat later. What do you put on the outside of a quesadilla? I don't know. Y'all see what I'm doing. Super hot. I could use a pizza cutter. I'm gonna grab a piece. I've never made this before. I wasn't, really wasn't too sure what was how quesadilla was supposed to be made. So I guess this is right. This is Miss Brazil's version of a quesadilla. Let's see. That's Cheese. I don't want that. Ooh. I'm gonna put some sauce on the outside. I'm always doing something. Clean this plate off. Still too hot. How the other side looks. I don't want to burn myself. If you can make pizza like this too, put the pizza fixings in here. I'm scared to bite it. So, I want to thank you all for watching <laughs> how I waffled that. Bind it very carefully. Mm. This is a good concoction. See, I'm put some taco sauce on the outside of here. So this is my version of a waffle quesadilla. It tastes good. Okay. So I want to thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a nice comment. And subscribe to my channel. And you all have a very blessed day. Bye. So I'm going to eat my waffle quesadilla. So I got taco sauce on top. Okay. I'm going for real now. Bye.